effectively rid ourselves of the vermin. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Yasmin Shalimzi, who is going to be introducing the next speakers. Um. <laughs> Alright, so um, we have a number of speakers lined up uh, for us today. The first one is Stephen from the James Connolly Association. So the result of that was that um, the Palestinians um, were massacred, um, dislocated from their homes and dispossessed of their land. Um, those that remained um, have for the past 60 years been done uh, under constant uh, oppression from uh, Israel and um, the Zionists. Um, one of the things I wanted to touch on today was that um, during that time the United Nations sent a man called Count Bernadotte. I don't know if any of you heard of the man, but he was a, Swe a Swedish um, noble. Uh, he had actually rescued hundreds of thousands of Jews during the, um, during the Nazi era in Europe and the United Nations thought he was a perfect person to send to Palestine to try and sort out the problems there between Jews and Palestinians. After he arrived, he was very sympathetic, of course, to the Jewish um, people because of what he had witnessed during the Second World War, to stop the Israelis invading. But in the end, because of the damage that was being done to Beirut and, of course, all the casualties, in the end, the Palestinians decided for the sake of the Palestinians and Lebanese um, and Beirut itself, to evacuate Beirut after Philip Abib, who was sent from the United States, um, got them to sign an agreement. The agreement was that the Palestinian um, fighters would Actually leave Beirut. create movements and put pressure on things like on places like RMIT to sever ties with institutions that support the Israeli military and lead to a war. Uh, the next speaker that we're going to have today uh, is Firas. Uh, so Firas is a member of Students for Palestine. Uh, he's a, a Palestinian. Um, and an activist, and he's actually going to be uh, reading out a speech that was prepared to us uh, for us in Arabic, uh, and he's going to be translating that for us uh, by Nadir, who is uh, again a Palestinian who lives under occupation, uh, who experiences the brunt of uh, the Israeli military uh, every single day in, his, uh, in Palestine. And so, uh, yeah, we're very lucky to uh, have actually a speech prepared by him. And, uh, uh, peace be upon you. Salam alaikum. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to be just reading this out, so excuse me if uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to the paper, not to you, to you guys. Uh, everyday Palestine continues to bury its loved ones, children, women and men, victims of Israeli war crimes, victims of Israeli bombs that wiped out entire families and assassinated their memories and dreams, their hopes, their future and their longing for simply a normal life in freedom and peace. Israel continues its daily torture against illegal prisoners of freedom, including women and children who are younger than 18 years old. Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out.
MIT do? MIT works with, as Lauren really explained extremely well, works with a company that is directly involved in the occupation of power missiles, all of these things. And actually, it is the engineering students, aerospace engineers, uh, and get, you know, a bit of uh, participation, a bit of democratic participation in what has been an extremely democratic process. Jamie, Israel, and condemning the uh, continuing dispossession and uh, genocide of the Palestinians. So I'm absolutely for April 16th but we really need to get cracking and building because we want to make it as big as possible. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back, and that means we will be back. Yeah. We'll be back.